We now are faced with the problem of having orphan idle and abandoned wells potentially leaking methane gases. There's approximately uh, 170,000 abandoned oil and gas wells in Alberta. Many on the landscape that are there for 20 years just sitting in the middle of a farmer's field. Why are we waiting to clean that up? The technologies of the day that they mandate to make a reduction strategy on emissions are very antiquated. The potential for inaccuracy was there. I am endeavoring to do is to accurately measure those emissions. After they remediate a venting leak, they're asked to do a, a 10 minute bubble count. It's more of a detection method than any kind of a measurement method. That's not the right way to do it when people are paying carbon tax or carbon emissions. You can't detect or count a bubble. You should therefore use the tools and the technology that are out there to represent what is actually going on. I've actually been told that lying is free. So Mike, why bring us your better technology when we can just get away with lying? As I exit the oil and gas industry as a service provider, I want to leave the industry with a better tool to bring more integrity into what I've been doing for 25 years. The net benefit is the land we walk on, the land we call home.